Hello YouTube, Mr. Sambo42 here with another review about the iPod Touch 4G. This one's a review, so let's start. Here's the packaging. I'm sure you've all seen it before, but I'm going to show you again. Get over it. Here it is. It's very nice. Uh, as you can see, I have the 8G. Focus, please. Okay, maybe not. Here it is. It, the lid's normally on a hinge, so it would go like that but I took mine off because I did um uh that's the top it comes on a tray and the outer cover goes through the tray and is taped onto the bottom of this tray through the a small sticker so there's the tray and a very nice tray it is put that over the way don't need that bye there's the tray right go this is the casing it's designed by apple in california just like everything else is and it's got quite a lot of room it comes with fingertips and these items comes with the sync cable data transfer cable usb cable whatever all the same thing there it is isn't it beautiful and there's the other end the usb end a lot more a lot smaller than the other one I have noticed that. Here is the rubbishly, terriblish Apple iPod things. The headphone -y. Just, I hate them so much. And why do they put them in the bag? There we go. Aren't they lovely? And here's the other end. Headphone jack. Now, a good bit of information for you here. The new iPod comes with a A4 processor which is the same one in the iPhone which means that it's faster just fast and you can multitask which you need to have the latest update which I think you can get from iTunes or something like that but you need to get the latest update to be able to multitask let's have a look at the actual device here it is um, nice and thin I'm going to show you a couple of angles to show you how thin it is. Uh, another thing, which I will tell you in a minute, there's the bottom. Another thing is that it has the speaker grill, whereas the other one had a built-in speaker. The 3G had a built-in speaker. There's the sync docking thing, headphone jack, front-facing camera there somewhere. If it's focused, no, it won't. There's me videoing, and there's the outside or back camera, whatever you want to call it, with a small microphone. The button's a little bit more laid back than the 3G. The 3G was here, but this one's more here. And another thing is if you look at the 3G, because there's a bit of bulk, it will move. With this iPod, I'm tapping with a bit of force here, look. And it's not going da 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 like the other one would be. So that's a nice thing to have on it. Let's show you this talked about retina display. There we go. There we are. Nice, isn't it? How oh, beautiful. I don't want that. Go away. There we go. It's very nice, I tell you, it's like, it's a lot like the, uh, A, uh, what do you call it, the one on the iPhone 4, it's a lot like that one, but it doesn't have iOS 4, so if you look at it from, oh, you can see that, but it's not getting either lighter or darker if you look at it from either angle, so, yeah, it isn't brilliant. That was a quick review on the iPod Touch. Uh, I haven't done one of these videos before. This is my first video. So if you liked it, tell me if you didn't. Instead of just telling me how bad it was, can you give me some tips? Because, you know, I'm planning on making some more. I'm considered quite a geek, so I kind of know what I'm talking about. Uh, so, you know, if you want to give us a hand, that'd be great. Thank you, YouTube.